Hello. Welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep. My name is Jason Newland. The My website's jasonnewland.com. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. And... Um, I don't know. Today's day is the 27th of April 2024. I don't know what else to tell you. So currently, right this second, I am in the process of creating a new podcast for the Jason's Bedtime Story Time. Um, with my creaky, my creaky chair. So I'm doing this on the Zencast. Zencast. I did the ASMR Let Me Boy to Sleep one yesterday. Uh, unfortunately, there's well, it's not unfortunate really, but there just happens to be more recordings to upload for this one. And I'm uploading all of the different versions, including the ten-hour versions. Which means, I don't know what it means. It's Well, what it means is so far is the Jason's Bedtime Story, no, the ASMR Let Me Whisper, ASMR Let Me Bore You to Sleep has increased the plays since I swapped over to this. Uh, I changed the RSS feed direct or whatever to from Apple Podcasts to here rather than to Spreaker and people are listening more people are listening so that's a good thing that's a good thing oh. I'm also transcribing my relaxation hypnosis of stress, anxiety and panic attacks so I'm currently transcribing 51 to 100. Um, the aim is to transcribe every single recording that I have. And then, <laughs> I don't know, do something with them, I guess. Do something. Uh, what that might be, I'm not sure. And I've also, at the moment, I've got processing is my yesterday's Let Me Boy to Sleep, Q&A Friday, number 1103. That is now processing. It's been uploaded, but 70 minutes left. Until it's processed. And that's on YouTube. Which means... If you want to listen, it's a video, but you can, you know, it's not any any movement. It's just a static picture. But you can listen, which is just, it's just another way to listen if you want to listen. If you want to listen, if you don't want to listen, then it's not it's not a place to listen. It's just up to you. It's just a another option, another option. <laughs> oh, Billy's licking himself. Lovely. Get in there, son. That's right. Get right. <laughs> oh. Anyway, so that's kind of what I'm doing at the moment. That's what I've been doing all day. Technically, that's not true. What I did first thing when I got up was I spent about an hour and a half editing the recording from yesterday, the Q&A. Hour and a half editing it. I can't believe how long it took, really. It was a, it was just took for ages. It took for ages. Got it done in the end. It started off at over three hours long, ended up being about two two hours forty one minutes. So there was lot lots of interruptions. 
phone calls, knocks at the door, Vinny barking. There's, there's me having to go to the toilet, I think. Um, yeah, there's a few interruptions, which I had to kind of find and edit out. But it's uh, it's all good now. It's got it done, got it processed, got it uploaded. It took a few hours to do it. But I think by about 10, 10 o'clock, I think 10, 11, they were all uploaded to the respective podcasts. So that's good. It just it takes a while. It really does. It's I'm not complaining. Maybe am I complaining? I, I don't. I'm not moaning. <laughs> not really complaining. I'm just just stating a fact that it's very time consuming and just sometimes feel that I could be doing other things while I'm doing that. I mean, I could. The amount of time it took me, I could have made four new recordings but hey 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 so so far how many downloads have I got from the let me boy to sleep a eh, couple of hundred on each one so that's two four six eight hundred nearly no no that's wrong one two four five six six hundred not 800 so far on that podcast so it's quite weird because the molly 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 one 10 hours this is on the not the let me boy to sleep podcast but the hypnosis for sleeping deeply 514 plays for the 10 hour and that was thursday so saturday now so it's thursday huh. Molly, you keep listening to <laughs> um, Molly actually sent me a message or posted a message on Facebook on my Facebook group. The only place to actually send me a message, which is uh, Jason Newland's Boring Group on Facebook. And Molly wrote, I've tried listening to the recording that's titled Molly, 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 Molly about three times now and each time I've fallen asleep within five minutes do you mention me in it <laughs> I genuinely I just put uh, uh, I can't remember I genuinely don't know if I did or not because sometimes I do that I'll give I'll give the rec a recording a title um that's not relevant sometimes I know that's probably a little bit annoying for people if they're listening for the title if it, you know if well, no oh, no one's going to listen to my podcast because of the title I don't think oh, I might be wrong I don't do clickbait you know I don't I, I don't kind of pretend it's about something and it's not I just sometimes make up a topic because most of the time I've genuinely forgotten what I spoke about seriously no I don't apart from the Q&A I very rarely do a let me boy to sleep where I know what I'm going to talk about beforehand or at least kind of uh what the subject matter is going to be. I mean, with the Q and A Friday, it was just it was multiple subjects, but it was kind of answering questions. Uh, I'm not sure if I do another one. Do you want me to do another one next Friday? Let me know. Let me know on on the on the Facebook group uh, if you want me to do another one, and I will. Uh, which means on Monday I will post a. A questionnaire again just saying please Lee, ask me a question for Friday and you'll have a few days to 
yeah, I think up some new questions. I mean, I guess really considering how old I am, I'm like 87 now, I think. So there's probably quite a few things you could ask me about. You could ask me about the, the First World War. You could ask me what it was like when um, the fir first bicycle was invented, what it was like being around at that time, you know, because I'm so old. Hmm. That is funny, though. I don't know, I just find it funny that I called a recording Molly, 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 and I genuinely don't know if I did mention Molly. It was a tribute to Molly, but it wasn't necessarily about Molly. I don't know. I really don't know. Is that a movie about Molly? Wasn't that with Cameron Diaz? Or came along came Molly? I don't know. Was it Polly? Along came Polly? Or was it along came Molly? This recording should be called Molly, 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 because I'm talking about Molly. Ah. So I just got back from the park. Vinny. Put that away, Vinny. Vinny was... His friend, Archie, turned up. And they had a good old run around. And they were dancing with each other. And it was just, just beautiful to see. And they're just, they're such good friends. They just love each other. It's, it's weird. You just see the affection between them. There's a real connection that they've got. And he's got a few, a few little friends out there, but Archie seems to be, I mean, he's got a new friend now. I forget, and it's a boy, yes, yeah, it's, it's another boy, but I forget his name, but um, Archie's been friends with pretty much since I got him. So he's known him for a long time. But he loves, like, really loves him. Like, there's a real... I know I'm adding human emotions into onto a dog, but... I can sense it. I can't sense loving humans, but I can sense his love towards another dog. Because I know that's that's something he doesn't do towards me. Yeah. Damn him. Now he's looking at me. He's looking at me because... He's looking at me. Staring at me. Because he wants some of them chops that I've took out of the freezer. But they're not defrosted yet, so... He's going to have to wait. They shouldn't take too long. Because they're in the living room now. I left them in the kitchen and it just wasn't warm enough in there to melt them because there's no heating in there but there's heating on in there but it gets too warm I've got the window open and when I close the, the living room door in order to stop him barking at every movement in the building it gets really hot in here very stuffy uh, it's quite uncomfortable even with the windows open so I've left the door open. So if he starts barking, he starts barking. It's, it's either that or put him in the bedroom, which I don't want to do. Um, what are you barking? He was like, eh, eh. So yeah, he's dancing around. It's just nice. I like seeing that. He's. I made a mistake earlier though, because I, I take him out probably... Oh, at least four times a day, sometimes five. And we went to the garage, the petrol station. I think that was the first walk of the day. Brilliant. You hear that? Gloria just sent me a friend request on Facebook. Who's that? I get so many... So this is someone without any picture either, so I don't... I know... I've got a couple of friends that don't have pictures on their profile, but when it's a new person, I kind of don't know who they are. 
might sound weird um, it's not even allowing me to look at their their um, profile no posts available does that mean it's private or they just literally don't have it's a made up person possibly all I would say is instead of adding me as a friend just join the private group join the Jason New Lens boring group because then you can contact me on there anyway so and I think you can send private messages but if it's if I don't know who people are I just don't add anyone anymore because like to my Facebook page as it were because I get I get probably 10 10 or so friend requests every week maybe more sometimes I've got 39 friend requests waiting if I say see all and there's quite a few like that might be genuine <clears throat> maybe a bit, bit more noise can you have any it says 39 see all select people's names to review their profile okay there's like Stephen there's people with, this, with first and surnames both first names and then some people they've got the surname before the first name which I find a little bit strange because it's almost like it's being created on a data sheet where the surname would be first you know like they've created Facebook pages so like mine would be Newland Jason now I don't know anyone that would have a Facebook page with a name like that but I'm guessing that with AI and technology and stuff it's probably possible to create thousands upon thousands of new Facebook pages from some kind of data and if it's in alphabetical order it would probably be surnames first <sighs> uh, so this one Crawley Scott and then you've got someone frankincense walker now that might be a real person so I apologize if it's not a real person okay I do apologize but I don't know I look down at the picture at their thing I don't is anyone called frankincense I know there's people called Frank and if frankincense is if you're there and you're listening then join my group you know you're welcome I just I get so many messages and then there's stuff in Arabic and there's things about the clearly not necessarily his profile but selling stuff and I don't know just and it and it's weird because I look at it and it says oh page created well the first post they had was like two weeks ago Vinny's just farted and I just wonder I think oh okay so let's have a look about when did the page start no and you can look down let's see okay so how many how many I say look at Gavin how many uh, first of all it don't tell you the, the people they've got on there so you don't see their friends list but you see the first picture 31st of December 2020 next post 17th of March 2021 second post November 2021 December 21 and I like the well I don't like them but I think it's funny it's sometimes you see people there's a profile picture and then they're posting pictures and it's a different person it could be their, could be their son could be their boyfriend could be could be their dad you don't know true 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 but 
it's almost a it's yeah it's a different person <laughs> so I don't know Owen so it's Owen Larry so again action climate act climate action um, so it might be he might be a real person but the first picture was 19th of March so according to this American Board of Anesthetic Medicine and Cosmetic Surgery studied at Water New and Surgeon Initiative at the University of Pennsylvania so Syria Virginia okay so cool however first first post 19th of March I just really that seems just seems strange followed by nine people um friends doesn't lay see none of these none of these profiles allow you to see the friends um let's say Crawley Crawley is that 284 friends so this this might be a real person but the only post they got is a 23rd of January and it's a profile picture and maybe can't see the profile unless confirm request but it's those messages that I get like oh I really like your profile I'd really like to get to know you you seem so nice and like well first of all if you see my photograph you won't like it don't lie it's, no one's going to look at my photograph and think oh I've got to have him so that's that's not going to happen secondly I've never photographed well anyway so secondly um, which is it's, it's just not going to happen no <laughs> no one's going to accidentally come across my Facebook page and think wow <laughs> it's and even I know that even I can I'm aware you know I'm aware I'm self-aware enough to know that that's not going to happen now you know of course that some people might if you get to know someone you might then you know uh, come around you know it might it might be a different situation you you get to like someone or whatever if you you get to know them as a person I feel you know them as a person but you know, it's, it's not like what, what, what my photograph. Let's have a look at me, my profile picture. First of all, my profile picture is me when I was nine years old. So that's probably not a good one when people say oh, you're so handsome. But there is a picture of me at the top of the post of the the banner, a picture of me, probably a couple of years ago or a year ago, or whatever. There are photographs of me but not a lot and even the people that follow me and like what I do not, I don't really get people saying oh <laughs> that would be weird if they did it's like, oh there's something about you JJ it was just oh so oh you know no words just oh no that would be weird be weird to see um, it has happened, but I'm just it's still weird, still strange. And I, so if I get a, a random message like that, and I think, well, maybe they listen to me, and I say, and they say, what do you do? Well, I make podcasts. What's a podcast? Well, why, if you don't know what I do, why are you contacting me? It's kind of like if you don't listen to my podcasts or watch the YouTube videos, not that many people do anyway, but if you don't listen to the podcasts, what possible reason would someone have to try and add me on Facebook? Because this stuff I do is the only thing that I do. I'm not known for anything else, really. Just doing this stuff, you know, making recordings audio mainly audio recordings so if someone's not doesn't know then 
that means they've looked at my profile and thought, whoa, and it's not, it's just, no, silly, very silly. I'm not quite sure where I'm going with this, but it's just silly, come on. It's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Right, still, oh, the podcast, the 1103, Q&A Friday is actually uploaded and processed. Didn't expect that to occur so quickly, unless I've been talking forever, which is possible, very possible. So what is it, Q&A Friday, let me bore you to sleep, 26th of April. So what I'll do is, if I just, I'll just put that there and I'll upload it. Let me bore you to sleep. Done. Is this is what I'm doing. There's a new thing now with YouTube and it says um, about is there any paid promotion? <laughs> yeah. Right, anyone's going to pay me. Uh, blimey. And it says, is there any altered content? Do any of the following describe your content? Um, first of all, one, it makes a real person appear to say or do something that they didn't say or do. And this is basically about AI, really. This is basically what they're trying to say. Um, altered footage of a real place or event or thirdly generates a realistic looking scene that didn't actually occur no not in any of those situations now if it asks me does this video involve uh, talking about absolutely nothing then yeah I would put yes it does automatic places automatic concepts Okay, so recording date 26 of April and standard YouTube license. I put Creative Commons, allow embedding, yeah. And then the last one, category, entertainment, comment, moderation. If I just put basic, hold, potentially inappropriate comments in fact I don't just don't worry about it I don't care and then I put in newest so insert top show how many light viewers like this video that's fine I might get one person like it so that's it so the video it's not uploaded it's uploaded but it's not available yet so what I need to do Did I make, wait a minute, I'm just going back, see, you're getting to see me in action, or hear me in action, did I do a description, I didn't do a description for the Q&A Friday, or did I, I might have done, but it was on the other podcast, let's have a look, I forgot to update stuff, I think I did, I can't remember. So there's boxing last night, but I woke up too late. I woke up at 3.30 instead of 1, but I didn't go to bed till 11, so there was no way. I was up until 11 doing the recording and doing other stuff. So I I didn't set my alarm, and I, I, I knew I wasn't going to wake up at 1, because two hours sleep is not enough, is it, really? Woke up at half three. So that was four, four and a half hours. It might have been half ten I went to bed. I can't, I think it might have been half ten, not eleven. I lose track. Anyway, I get up and I think, well, what I need to do, because I promised I would, I need to edit this recording. The, the one I did on Friday, yes, yesterday. I need to get it 
edited, processed, published, uploaded, and all that stuff. An image made, description done. I need to get that done. So that's what I focused on as soon as I woke up. Spent an hour doing that, or an hour and a half. Yeah, so it was, it was five o'clock when I had my breakfast. And at that point, I'd finished the editing and I started to upload. I mean, the uploading doesn't take anything. It's just, just click, you know, click upload to the podcast. So there's no, no uh, energy involved in that. Um, or did I? No, what I didn't upload, I basically, I... I processed the first recording, uploaded it, edited it, uploaded it, and then I was uh, processing the other three versions, and that was kind of happening while I was eating my breakfast. So every now and then I have to get up and you know click a few buttons and stuff, and then by about I think it was half six. I went back to bed and I pretty much uploaded uh, I'd uploaded at least two like the first ones that cat's noisy uploaded the first like recording to both podcasts yeah right so what am I going to do if, um, and the boxing so at five o'clock, I put the boxing on and it wouldn't play because it's finished, but it wouldn't go back to the beginning. And I tried it later and it wouldn't play. So I don't know what's going on with the uh, DAZN app. And I haven't had time to watch it today because I've been busy doing this on the podcast and stuff, trying to work on that. So it's I find it easier to focus if I just listen to some music or stuff, you know, while I'm building the websites and stuff it's easier if there's TV on or if there's um, like a movie sometimes I get a little bit distracted so I've been doing this and also before I used to like literally a couple of weeks ago three weeks ago four weeks ago whatever I used to be able to sit on my chair, reclined, and use a laptop and do some work while I watched the TV. But now Vinny has started cuddling up to me, which means I can't have the laptop on my lap because it would pretty much be balancing on his head. So or I'd have to balance it on the right um, armrest. <laughs> so it's kind of... I, I love it when he cuddles up to me because he's doing that of his own um, choice, you know, and he never used to do it. So now he's doing it. It's like, I love it. I love the fact that he's shown some kind of um, affection or whatever you want to call it. But at the same time, my computer, my laptop is over here on the desk and the only way I can get to it is by moving and he gets off as soon as I move. And maybe goes into the bedroom or he sits, he sleeps. He sleeps at my feet a lot underneath the table, the desk, which he is now. So I think he just listens to me and he just gets bored. And I'm beginning to think I might have a boring voice. I should do something. <laughs> I should do something with that. I should maybe start a podcast where I bore people to sleep. Anyway, so the boxing, didn't see that. There's boxing again tonight. And then there's boxing again tomorrow morning, early hours of the morning. So it's tonight here and then tonight in America. So I'm not sure. Because the boxing starts at 7, I think. So I want to see if there's any boxing on Sky. Because this is the zone. There's definitely boxing on tonight. Boxing fights fixtures on Sky. 
Right, okay. May. There's some good stuff on in May. Like, really, boxing-wise, some really good stuff. There's a lot of big fights. May and June. Uh, so, I will be watching all of those. You know, one of my favourite things is there's a, a fighter called Inui. And he's the undisputed world super bantamweight champion. And they call him the monster. And he pretty much knocks everyone out. He And he's, he's I don't want to call him little, but he's very small. He's a small weight. Super bantam weight is probably eight stone, something like that. So it's literally half my weight. So he's, but he's an absolute beast. And the good thing about it, because he's, he's Japanese and he's a national hero in Japan. Which means, even though he's very well known in the boxing world, he is like one of the pound for pound top boxers in the world. So it's not like he's unknown outside of Japan. But he generally fights in Japan. Which is brilliant for me. I'm not sure he, I'm pretty sure he's not doing it just for me. If he is, it's very kind of him. But he. He fights at, I think it's, the, the show starts something like 9 in the morning. UK time. Ah, oh, it's almost, you couldn't... Mm, it's almost like the, the smell of fresh bread. Or a baby's head, you know, because that's a lovely smell. Or, of course, you can't go around randomly smelling people's ovens you know because that's weird but you know it, but it's just it's it's that, like ah oh, there's something extra special about that and nine o'clock in the morning I'm not saying it's my peak time because in a way that probably would be quite a good time to do a podcast This time it's 20 to 7 in the evening. This is probably not the peak time for me. It's now getting time for me to get something to eat. And I'm going to settle down and watch the boxing. And once the boxing starts, depending on who's fighting, if I don't know, I don't know who's fighting. Um, there's no one that I'm kind of a fan of that I know of during the like the evening one in the UK but tonight or early hours there is there's boxers that I follow so that will be a big night of boxing which will start probably 1, one thirty in the morning but if I stay awake until the end of the fight tonight in the UK it means I won't go to bed till about 11 which means again I won't I'll have three hours sleep it just doesn't work, you know, the two doesn't work. But I, I don't have to watch any of them live because I can re-watch the shows anyway because they're all on DAZN. So you can, well, providing it works because the other one didn't today, but generally they're quite good. So May the 18th is Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk. So May, we've got uh, Inui, 6th of May, because it's the 1st of May on Thursday, and it's Saturday now, so we're nearly in May already. So Thursday, the 1st of May, Friday, Saturday, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, no, that doesn't make sense then, does it? If, if Monday's the 6th of May, Thursday can't be the 1st of May. Wednesday's the 1st of May. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, the 6th. 
so yeah so we've got sunday monday tuesday three more days left of the month and then on the sixth monday it's inui and then the following weekend you got uh Fisili, uh lomachenko and cambosis so that that's in again that's another good one it's in australia which means it will be on like two in the afternoon or something maybe even earlier it's like brilliant two really good fights where i can watch during the day it's like yeah baby and then the 18th the following weekend tyson fury and uh, Usyk, undisputed world title that's in dubai again an early fight well it might not be in on till 10 o'clock but it's the show starts probably about four o'clock so it's like a that whole day will be devoted to that fo- to that boxing saturday 18th that's it nothing else apart from taking the little one out for a walk and the it's basically they're doing a big five uh five my voice is croaky i need some water that's much better so the this is what i sound like when when i've had a nice drink of water so imagine if i just kept that going that'd just be silly okay uh what i do okay let me have a look because i know that you're all excited if i put in boxing schedule boxing schedule schedule is it schedule or schedule doesn't really matter does it as long as you know it's all about communication if you know what it means that's what it means isn't it i guess Esper is Alanis. Uh, not bothered about that. So I don't know what it is, but I'm I'm not I'm not so interested in female boxing anymore. I don't know why. It's it's not. I don't know why. I, I think it's because my favourite fighters all got beat, <laughs> and that just annoyed me, and. I did because there's not many compared to the male boxers there's not many female fighters that are kind of well known and you know they they can win a world title within like a few fights which uh, a male might have to do 30 odd fights before they get a chance to win a world title so it's yeah it's about three or four fighters that all lost and it's not that I've given up on them, it just, I don't know, just took the shine off a little bit. Just for me. So, there's um, Ramirez, Bartholomew, Esperza, Ortiz Jr. So, Ortiz Jr., why is he low down? That doesn't make sense. Virgil Ortiz Jr., He's currently undefeated in total. Uh, he's sort of 20. So he's a knockout as 100%. So why is he so far down? Which is weird because they've been promoting it. Okay. They've been promoting it as like a, a two fight card. I mean, it's like there's the undercard, but they've been promoting it on design as Ram, Ramiv, uh, Ramirez and. Barthelme. So that is um, like the headliner, but it's like a co headline. And none of them are for world titles, but they're both like really top, top tier fighters. And they had the Ortiz Jr. against Dolmore, Dol- Dolom, as being a co headliner. But 
the Dolmu, Dol Dolom, has had six losses. So I'm not sure quite why they've put him together with Ortiz Jr. Because Ortiz Jr. is like a rising star in the boxing world. Anyone that has 20 fights and 20 knockouts gets a lot of attention in the the boxing world. Um, so that's in America tonight. So McCrow Leach, that's on tonight in the UK. And that is April 27th, which is, yeah, today. Ferrero Liscana. I'm clicking, I'm clicking on the right buttons. Why do you take me to the wrong? I'm pressing the wrong thing. Okay, few few fight information. McCrow versus Leach. Um, so this is supposed to be a really good fight, but neither of them are ranked. It's uh, I'm not really sure. It's they're both one's quite well new he's got nine fights the other one's got 18 19 20 20 22 fights so it's it's not so much a a huge i don't know how to explain it really it's more domestic it's like a domestic fight and which can sometimes be the best ones but there's no one on there that i kind of know but then if I don't watch the fights, if I don't watch people I don't know, I never get to know them, will I? So, so on the zone, 3rd of May, Garcia. Garcia. View fights. Is this... Which Garcia? Blimey. Why is it... Eridson Garcia is to take on how can he be headlining if he's, his first fight was a loss it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense fight 4am UK Europe London US stream why would they put a fight on where and his opponents lost three, won three. That that seems weird. Why would they? Doesn't make sense. The stats suggest Montgomery has a passive power, massive power advantage over Garcia. Well, how can you? This, this is ridiculous. Oh, because he's knocked out thirty-three percent of his opponents. Garcia hasn't won a single fight. There's no way of knowing if he's got power or not, as far as being an. Garcia is a less experienced fight, having had five less fights. Yeah, because he's had one fight and he lost, and the other blokes had six fights. Why? They, it's like they're making up stuff. They're finding different ways to say the same thing. So instead, like, the stats show that his opponent has had six fights, three losses, three wins. Garcia has had one fight, and he's lost that fight. So it says... Garcia is a less experienced professional fighter, having had five less fights. It made his debut in 2017. One month earlier than Montgomery. So where has he been? 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 seven years there must be a reason why he is being why he's a headline act if he's only had one fight and he lost it and it was seven years ago I'm confused I'm confused enter your prediction it, it, it's what? So I'm gonna have to look this up because this is gonna bother. This is really is gonna bother me now. Eridson Garcia, why is he headlining a show if he's hasn't fought for five, seven years? Edison Garcia. Edison. 
Edison Garcia, one over Armando. Tenth round, unanimous decision. So, so why are they doing that if they're saying that he didn't, he's never won anything? This doesn't make sense. Edison Garcia. I'm confused. I mean, it's not the first time, to be honest. But then it says here, Edison Garcia, I was inactive for a year. What? And it's showing that he has fought. Edison Garcia, his boxing record. There's nothing there. There's no Wikipedia page. Ask me. Right, so let's go to Copilot, see if it. Boxer. Boxer. How many fights? Many fights. Edison Garcia has how many fights? The, Domin the Dom Dominican boxer has participated in a total of 19 professional bouts. His record stands at 18 wins, including 12 knockouts and one loss. His most recent fight was against Mil Malik Montgomery, May the 3rd, 2024. His most recent fight was against... Was against... What? Okay. So it's going ahead in time. Are we, am I, are we still in April? This is AI, ladies and gentlemen. His most recent fight was against... On Like, was against... Did I really need... I need to turn the volume down on this stupid thing. What is this message? I'm going to turn the volume down. That's it, turn it off. Ooh! Lillian Cammy from Teresa. Oh! Oh, I took a video of Vinny today with his friend. And a couple of pictures, but the pictures weren't very good. It's really weird. I, like, I can see them. And as soon as I start looking through the screen, the computer screen, um, the phone screen, it, it's like further away. I don't get it. I don't understand. But what I'm going to do is... See if I can get that picture off. Maybe use it in the... Yeah, maybe use it. So anyway, so 18 wins. So this is saying that he's got zero wins. In fact, he's got 18 wins. And one loss. But then it says Edison last for eight eight months ago and twenty eight days. So it's just making it up. It's making it up as they go along. I'm just didn't it say it had not had a fight since two thousand seventeen? Where does it say that? Okay. Oh, he made his debut. Okay, that's the reason why he made his debut or debut in 2017. Then it said he's only had one fight. That's why I came to he hasn't fought since 2017. If I'd read further down, it says that he last fought eight months ago and 29 days. Oh, I've never been so angry. Uh, Canelo Bungaya, 4th of May. 4th of May. So what's on the 4th of May on the zone? That'll be on the zone as well, I think. What the heck? Boxing. Go away. Boxing. Sky. No. So 4th of May. 4th... Brilliant. So this this is very similar to something that happened last year. There was the Errol Spence Crawford fight. 
on the Sunday morning, well, Saturday night, early Sunday morning in the UK, Saturday night in the America. And then on the Monday morning, it was uh, Inui, the monster, was unifying his world titles. Great fight. So two really good fights. Huge fights within a couple of days of each other. Now we've got the same thing next week. So we've got the 4th of May, which is next Saturday. We've got um, Canelo versus Mungaya for all, all of the super middleweight world titles, which is just wow. Brilliant. Really, I mean, it's going to be a great fight. Um, so that will be on the zone, and then Monday on Sky is the Inui fight. So wow, brilliant weekend! Saturday and then Monday. Was there any other things on Saturday though? Saturday, no, it's the eleventh. So Saturday, 4th of May, 3rd. No, so that's cool. So next week, so we've got, fr we've got a fr uh, fr fight on Friday. We've got a fight on Thursday, but that's ESPN, so that's not, I'll be watching that. So one tonight, and then on the zone, there's Friday, so it's early hours of the morning, Saturday, then early hours of the morning, Sunday, on the 4th and then on the 6th yeah wow this is really good and then you've got right yes yeah, so and then the following Saturday or Sunday rather the 12th so let's have a look what's on the 12th 12th, Monday the 6th of May so you've got another fight at the 10th but that's, I don't know where that is TNT Sports, so I won't be watching that because uh, that's £30 a month just to, uh, well, shut up so there's Saturday the 11th in Mexico Hernandez, Lugo, Cruz so there's fight McCaskill Price which is Sky in the evening so yeah so there's Edwards Ward so there's quite a few different fights on that weekend and Sunday the 12th that's the one I really want to watch L Lomachenko and Kambosis Jr um, fan of both of those boxes and then the following weekend the Saturday Someone made a noise. And we, he's barking now. It's Saturday the 18th. So the following weekend, Fury Usyk. And that's a huge, huge night of boxing. That's Saturday. Shush, Finney. Like, huge. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six fights on the undercard. Um... It's just really, really good. And what times? And then Sunday morning, it's a little bit, I could have been decked, but Sunday morning, there's um, a vacant WBO World Lightweight Championship that's on Sky. Calm down now, please. I'm nearly finished the podcast. I know you. I don't. I don't know if he's excited or if he's just like. I don't know. Can't figure it out. Shush. Right, I'm gonna go now. Thank you for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Be gentle with yourself. Lots of love. Bye. Just uh. 
we need to start barking, so I thought I'd better end it. End the recording, rather. But it'll still be at about an hour, I think. And I'm going to go and make myself a pizza. And then watch some boxing. Watch some boxing. Yeah. See you later.